Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading for January 2019, wishing you a happy new year. Some of you may be watching this in December, but it's for January. So I'll check your moon, Venus and rising. If the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insights. This month I'm giving away the angel tarot cards, so leave a comment if you are interested in winning that giveaway. By commenting, you've entered the competition. So what's going on with Pisces? January 2019. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. But, okay, Three of Swords. It's with all the sadness. Feeling the Three of Swords, feeling heartbroken. The Eight of Swords, you know, feeling stuck. Maybe not wanting to make any decisions just yet. The Four of Cups. So if someone is not, you know, accepting an offer here, maybe you're offering someone something, but, you know, an apology or something, but they're not accepting, it could be vice versa. Yep, someone has cut you off. But their feelings for you are still there. The Ten of, of Pentacles could be someone you're married to or in a relationship. The feelings are still there. I mean, they wouldn't go away right away, but... Some of you have been cut off or the person is trying to detach from you but the feelings are still there so then they haven't detached yet they're seeing you as the three of cups so maybe you've been drinking or partying you know or wanting to reconcile it could be vice versa so it could be them who is heartbroken it could be you who's rejecting them who's wanting to detach between the both of you is a brand new start, the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be a new situation, a new dating situation. Or for some of you, it could be that this is going to be a new start between the both of you. Like forgiveness. Some of you, in the outcome, it seems like you'll be waiting in vain or feeling like you're waiting in vain for this person to come back around. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Some of you may feel, you know, maybe you plan to leave this person in the past and they beat you to it. You didn't maybe didn't see it coming that they turned that they rejected your offer. The Hierophant. You know, not getting what you want in the situation, or they were not getting what they wanted, so they left. The Three of Swords, where's the Three of Swords here? Some of you opened up and were rejected. You know? I get the feeling some of you opened up too late, or if it's vice versa, this person opened up too late. The Four of Cups. The person, the person may be wanting to be single. Rejecting your offer. An offer rejected. Okay, could be, could be vice versa. Could be you who, who rejected their offer. The King of Swords, a Four of Cups again. They don't want what you're offering. They may have another option. They may be juggling. Or it could be you who has another option and not accepting this person's apology or offer. Okay. Let's see what's 
Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Four, the Four of Wands, I just saw. They're wanting to get rid of these feelings. They're wanting to detach, like really. It could be you wanting to detach. Someone's wanting to. The Three of Cups. Yep, addiction. Some of you may be drinking. Some of you may be drinking or you're seeing this person as drinking, but this is them seeing you as, you know, drinking a lot because we have the devil, which is addiction. So some kind of addiction, you could be drinking or smoking or anything. Um, this person is seeing you as, or you're seeing them as doing. Or partying. The Ace of Pentacles. The offer for a new start. Someone in the situation is working towards a reconciliation. So whoever's working towards reconciliation may be waiting in vain with the Seven of Pentacles. Or may feel like that. Because the Seven of Pentacles is like... Yep, I'm walking away. Stability is no longer there. And detachment, more detachment, the King of Swords. Someone's walking away and detaching and someone's waiting in vain for this person to come back around. Okay, but you have wish fulfillment here. I do get the feeling that some of you may have wanted this relationship to end in the past and it's like, be careful what you wish for. Or it could be vice versa, they wanted it to end and then they didn't want it to end and then you left and it's like, be careful what you wish for. Like, that type of situation. Or it could be that it opens the door for a new opportunity. The magician, you are ready, you have the resources, the ability to manifest. Life is magical. Nine of air, nine of swords, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling <laughs> self -fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. Like I said, some of you may have wished in the past for this to end and you spoke that into existence. Or it could have been them who wanted to walk away and then they, that, they spoke into existence. You know, someone, someone asked for the ending and then changed their mind and didn't know that it would actually end. That someone would walk away. Ten of water, ten of cups. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So... Again, like I said, it could open the door for a new relationship. You do have an ace here and nine of cups. So it could, it could open the door for a relationship. Why am I shuffling? The sun. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. See? It could lead to success. This ending could lead to something you didn't expect. Okay. Safe for you to love, open your heart, give and receive the highest energy of all. Finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. Some of you could be married to this person. 
you know, separated. The Okay, stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So in the midst of all of it, you have to stay positive, knowing that, you know, it could open the door for an opportunity with the Ace and this Nine of Cups, which doesn't fit in with the reading because this whole reading is screaming that someone's leaving and that you're heartbroken, but then you have the wish fulfillment. So in the end, it may really lead you to a relationship you've always wanted or even a job that you've always wanted, um, career, focusing on your financial um, issues, fixing those issues, you know, could lead to something that you didn't expect. Don't stop. Within the next few months, so improvement in the next few months or a new love, new relationship. And let go and ask for help from others. So you may need to get out more. Take your mind off of the situation, off of the loss. Let go. So that you can, you know, stay positive. I did see remain positive in the deck, but it didn't come out. Some of you may, you know, need to need to do everything you can to get over this situation, to detach with the King of Swords and to walk away and let go. Because some of you are waiting in vain for this person to come back. Okay. So, drinking won't help. It's better to go through a situation and recover more healthy. You know, a more healthy recovery. Because you have opportunities coming towards you. And you can manifest these things with the magician. Okay. So definitely, this situation may just be over for a lot of you. This person, they've, they're have fed up. They're not accepting anything. I mean, you, for them, it's the Four of Swords twice. Sorry, the Four of Cups twice, where they're not accepting. They're not taking anyone back. They are single. They're rejecting all offers. You know? So it's like definitely waiting in vain if that's the case. It could be vice versa. It could be you not, not accepting their offer and them waiting for you in vain. But whatever the case is, the relationship just may be done. It's like time for, time for a new opportunity is pushing you towards something greater. You know, a, be a better outcome is coming towards you. Okay, you may not see the light at the end of the tunnel here, but this ace should give you hope. This ace could be the career opportunity, because you know pentacles are money. So this could be the, the financial um, solution. It's just being single and focusing on work that could um, solve your financial issues if you do have financial issues. So that could be you know the whole wish fulfillment thing here. You just have to know how to look at the situation. You know, how to how to appreciate the the bad because um good usually comes from bad. You know, when everything goes left, it's usually right. It's usually because it happened for a reason. So this, you could be ended up diving into work, fixing all your financial issues, getting right with um, you know, your finances, and then someone comes and offers you love with the Queen of Cups. 
you weren't expecting it because you were busy, your head was down, you were focused, you were working on finance, and then this opportunity comes, you fix your money, and you now you've got new love, a functional relationship that you've always wanted, or a more peaceful relationship, more fulfilling one. So right there, all of your you know wishes can be answered just like that, just by letting go and letting the universe you know do what it's trying to do. It's always has your best interest at heart, especially when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so Pisces, this was your reading for January 2019. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insight. And if you'd like to be a part of the giveaway to win the angel tarot cards, Leave a comment, and by doing so, you've entered the competition. Like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.